Hi, I'm Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am a full-time reseller on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Kittison, and Mercari. And I sell a lot on consignment via the Flip app. So I was going to unbox a lot today, but it was supposed to be delivered on Saturday. Now it's not being delivered until tomorrow. So instead, I'm going to just go over some of my sales this weekend across all platforms. April was pretty dead um, this last weekend it did get a little bit better probably because i'm listing more consistently and back into the swing of things after being on vacation a few weeks ago um, i had the most sales on kittison this weekend i had 10 overall um, the first was this pair of lamour i always say that weird lamour white leather lace-up boys dress shoes um, those i had listed for 23.95 shipped um, and then someone carded them. I sent an offer for $21.50 and they accepted. Um, so those were an item that I thrifted for a few dollars. Um, and then the next on Kittison was, um, this was a flip item that I ended up buying out from a client because I had it for the full consignment period and it just wasn't selling. So I bought out a few of her items that we had left for maybe $2 each. So um, on this one, I really only ended up making about $4. Um, I sent an offer for 13 shipped because, I mean, comps aren't great on this brand anyway. So I was just happy to get something back at this point. The next Kittison sale was a new of tags um, Gap rain jacket. This was from my client pickup last week. She's actually given me that same exact jacket in play condition before and those sold well. So these ones, new with tags, I priced them at $29.95. I have two because she had twins. So this first one sold at full price. Um, I'm splitting the profit with the client. I do still have one available that there's been some interest in, so we'll see how much longer that one takes to sell. Um, next was Dansko lace-up shoes. Those were another flip item. Um, those ones, I have gotten an offer on Poshmark, but one of my Kittison fellow Style Scout friends had shown interest in it earlier. We were in a share group together and she carded them. Um, so she happened to cart them again the same day that the, I got the Poshmark offer. So I sent her the equivalent of what the Poshmark order would have been. So it ended up being like Poshmark was 16, so it would have been plus shipping. So I offered her 26 and then it cost 950 to ship. So um, that was the low end of my estimate on flip, but um, she was happy and I'm sure, that was the last item for that flip lot as well. So I'm sure my client is happy to have everything sold at this point. The next was a bundle, which I was selling a lot more bundles on Kittison this time last year. So I'm hoping this is a sign of what's to come, but I sold a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shirt. That was my son's um, and also a Spider-Man robe together. So that, the shipping label, it was actually just under a pound, which was exciting. So shipping was only six fifteen as opposed to eight fifty five dollars for the padded flat rate. Um, I ended up making seventeen twenty five. dollars Those were personal items, so I don't remember what I paid for them, but it probably wasn't very much. I probably still ended up making a profit even after they were used by my kids. So that's always fun. And then the next, those were all shipped by Saturday. And then I also sold this little bundle. Um, there's three... Uh, rash guards by Crew Cuts from one client and then I was kind of chatting with the mom because um, she lives in a town near where I lived in North Carolina so I just mentioned like oh small world because my husband and I used to go to a lake in her town which is gorgeous and so we were chatting a little bit and then I guess that might have gotten her looking in my closet again because then she added these Zara shorts um, for another one of her kids so I just sent her an offer for like 415 off or whatever the shipping would have been and she accepted so I'm just going to bundle and then with that I'll put the tracking number in the second order so that I make sure they're both tracking and I get paid for everything by Kittison. And then I also sold this is one of the shirts that I highlighted in my last video. Um, this went to another style scout on Kittison so thank you um, and that one I sold for I had a um 5% off one sale going over the weekend. I changed my discount regularly, but so she purchased that for $16.67 shipped and I ended up with $14.17. That was another of my kids' things, so no 
cost of goods, although I think I said in my last video I might have paid 18 ship for it, um, but then we used it for a few years, so I thought that was fair. And then the oh, second to last um, sale on Kittison were these Sun Sands sandals. These were another, I can't remember if I actually called these out in my last video, but they were part of that same haul. Um, they were toddler size eight, but this is one of, oh yeah, I did mention, because there there's the other style with the double loop. Um, so those sold for, again, with my 5% off one, they sold for $22.80 shipped. So I ended up with $15.91 after shipping. I do not remember what my cost of goods was, maybe about $5. So then I ended up with $10.91. And then the last sale on Kittison for the weekend also ties into my one and only Mercari sale. Um, these I also called out in my video last week, but I sold the last two pairs of my kids' natives. So all four of them went within a week. Um, these ones I sold on Kittison for $29 shipped. And these ones sold on Mercari for $19 plus shipping. So what was shipping, like six maybe? Oh no, they're under eight ounces, so four-ish. So about 23. It's actually more than I expected for these. I usually price higher on Mercari, and then I expect that either people send offers or you have to drop the price a few times to get people, you know, get their attention. So I was really kind of surprised they sold for that much, especially because I really didn't do the best job cleaning them up. But they're awesome, great neutral color, and they're gonna be on their way to their new home. Then Poshmark over the weekend was pretty dismal as it has been. Um, so I only made two sales there. They were both on Friday or Saturday. I shipped them both on Saturday already, but both were um, items from Flip Clients. One was a Moulinette Soars. It's an anthropology brand and I have no idea how to say it, but this really pretty dress, it's pink. It has the cutouts with like nude lace underneath. Um, it would have sold sooner, I think, if it didn't have some stains on like the the center across the waist. Um, but I accepted an offer on that for $16 plus shipping, which is again, kind of less than I wanted. But when I sent the estimate for those, I was not aware of the stains. So it was still on the lower end of my estimate, but I was happy with it. And I think that one, that lot expires in a few days. So I was coming up on the deadline anyway. So I just accepted. And then same thing, the Dooney and Burke bag I sold. It's a less popular style now. Um, so I accepted an offer on that as well for $20 plus shipping. And um, that lot as well, I think I have a few more days to sell the rest of it before we have to either extend or buy out or send things back. So I think I have three more Dooney bags for her. So I've got to pull off a miracle soon. <laughs> then last but not least, eBay did pretty well for me this weekend. Um, it had been slow. I'm, my 90 day total has slipped by almost $1,000 over the past month. So I'm trying to revive that a bit. I was running a sale of between 15 and 25% off of all my items in eBay. Um, I went through and selected which ones I wanted the discount, which discount to apply to. So these, I'll get a better picture, but these are Rothy's that I had shown in an earlier video, probably my second one about Flip. And um, they, I had them listed pretty high because comps were up to 200, but that might've been from a little longer ago because those were on Poshmark. So I had dropped the price a little bit on both Posh, eBay, and everywhere I had them listed. And um, someone sent me an offer for 125 plus shipping. Um, they're new without tags and the retail price is, I forget. I'll put it in here, I'll look it up. <laughs> but um, that was the first offer I had gotten. So I did let it sit for a little bit, but then I figured it was reasonable. It was on the higher end of what I had estimated for my client. So I just went ahead and accepted. And that was the final um, item for another lot. So I have two more lots that are now 100% sold over the weekend. So that was exciting. And I had a couple more sales on eBay. So. I have not sold much many kids items, but this is another shirt that I called out in my last video that was my kids um, from a brand that I like to resell. I had it listed on Kittison for a couple days. I had a couple people carding it, um, but nobody accepted my offer. And then, so I cross-listed it on eBay last night and it sold by this morning. So that was pretty exciting. I need to get more of my kids items cross-listed there. I, I tend to list on Kittison first with kids items and then give it a few days like I did with this. Um, and then all of my adult items, I've been listing on eBay first and then cross-listing everywhere else just because there are more um, 
you know, the little fields and things that you need to fill out. So I'd rather just get it out of the way. But I prefer selling kids stuff on Kittison um, because of the community. So I don't know, trying to still work that out. Um, but then I also sold these girls pants. Um, the brand is Jacati. This was from, these are size six. I, I love the waist on these, like a paper bag kind of thing. Um, but with the cool belt with the two adjustable snaps. Um, these are from the one and only tag sale I went to last year. I got a bunch of Jacati stuff for, um, I averaged the cost of goods. They were about a dollar 89 each. Um, and I've sold a lot of it, but I think some of the spring items I still have to list because at the time I was overwhelmed with fall. And so um, I need to get the rest of those up, but I've definitely made my money back and then some. So I need to find some more tag sales this year, which I know I mentioned in my last video too. But <laughs> if you have tips on that, let me know. And the last item to sell actually went this morning right after I woke up on eBay. Um, this is a dress. It's a Calvin Klein new with tags that I had gotten from one of my another fellow style scout and Instagram friend, um, Sarah at Zim Babies. So thank you, Sarah. Um, we're going to split the profit from that one too. So I'll get that one out the door. I had originally listed it around 50 because I had sold another Calvin Klein dress that was very similar, but I wore it to a rehearsal dinner for my friend's wedding a few years ago. And I think that one sold around 30 plus shipping. So I was actually expecting a little bit more, but um, 39 was well within the comps on eBay. So I um, was glad to get that one sold too. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed that I don't have my flip lot to show you, but once it arrives on Tuesday, I'll shoot another video and I'll have to post it later this week. Um, thanks for watching. And if there are any questions you have about Kittison or flip or anything at all, um, please let me know. I will do my best to answer questions and I'll be trying to post videos more regularly. So don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed and thank you so much. Take care.